All right, this time we're doing soy sauce. And anyone that knows soy sauce knows that soy sauce has a lot of sodium in it. So there should be no reason why that liquid should not conduct electricity through it. Because again, your average soy sauce serving has almost a gram's worth of sodium in it. So this should be interesting. Oh yeah, definitely a lot more conductive than the Sprite we were just doing. In fact, I can see some action on that one electrode. Let's crank up the juice. See the action there. And I can actually hear it from the soy sauce. The electrical buzzing. Oh, and I can see the steam too. Got about 500 watts going in there. I gotta keep reducing the dimmer so we don't overload it. Brought it down to 400 watts. And that's producing some angry buzzing from there. That is producing so much audible noise. And now it's actually starting to boil that stuff. it down to about 200 watts. <laughs> it smells like soy sauce. <laughs> Phew, man. The smell of that stuff. Yeah, 
using the current the current limiter I can adjust the amount of current in there.
Still get some occasional pops. Well, I'd say that just about does it for soy sauce. Let's turn off the powder. Get a closer look at it. Certainly wasn't shy and make a mess. Oh. Still plenty of liquid in there. Of course it probably blew quite a bit out or even evaporated it too. But uh, that is definitely an interesting thing when you pass electricity through soy sauce. All right. Well, I think it's time we move on to our next one. I'm certainly gonna have plenty to clean up.